Hello, my name is Amanda Verrett, and I work with Mike Lively in the Office of Instructional Design at NKU. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on a new piece of software that we just developed that is an interview video viewer. You might recognize this window. We did a webcam interview software, and I believe you can find the code or the YouTube video online for this. I'll give you a quick demo of how this works. We have a tutorial, a tester webcam, and the interview. I'll go ahead and go to the interview. You just have to type in your name, your email. I'll type in Mike's. And then connect your webcam. Allow it. And there I am. Hi. All right, uh, that's an example of how that works. Now what I'm going to show you is the viewer that we made to view the videos that were captured and put into our database. I'll give you the web address so you can check this out as well. It's http colon forward slash forward slash www.nkuas.org slash interview viewer. You'll come to this page. We have the password encrypted through the flex code. So here the password is demo. Hit submit and here you see it. So here are our four test interviewers, and here are the different questions that we've answered. So you click on one of the questions. Here's Alex's answer for question one, and it pops up in the viewer. Matt's answer for question two. And it pops up in the viewer, and you see all the information pertaining to that video in this box underneath. To find the code for this, we can just go to code.google.com slash p slash flex3cookbook1. And this is where Mike posts most of our code. Go to Downloads. And here it is, the first one in the list, Video Interview Viewer. Okay, now we have two problems with the viewer. One of the problems is that we encoded the password into the code. So this means that the password could be grabbed by a Swift decompiler. The second problem is that we just had a one day deadline. Since we're an academic group, and this is for academic purposes, and we had an obscure web address, we weren't too concerned about people hacking into the system. But later we'll show how we did this encryption in a video, and eventually we'll use an array collection and a data provider in the form of an XML sheet to retrieve the data. Uh, we actually do have one encryption tutorial up on YouTube right now. I'll show that to you. Here's Mike's uh, YouTube tutorials list, www.youtube.com, user, Mike NKU. And here you can see we have two tutorials up on the encryption system. And the code base is on Google Code as well. And here this one is, the second one in the list. All right, so now I'm going to explain the code in Flex. As you can see, we have this constructed through states. So in the base state, you see everything. We have an interview state, which is the player and the choices, and we have a login state. So once you log in, the password is accepted to, to, to the interview state. Since we were on a deadline, the buttons are also hard-coded but these two will come in through a data provider in the uh, next iteration of code that we will release through Google Code as well. So I'll show you how um, in the source code this looks. If you're going to be pulling in an XML sheet with an array collection data provider, this is how you would do it. You use the HTTP service command and you can see down here this is where we import the array collection and the event handlers. But we are using an XML sheet and array collection and data provider to bring in the information about the interview vi videos and the interviewees. So I will show you that in just a second. But I'll show you right now the heart of the code is the push button command. Here that is. Here you can see the buttons are embedded into our code. Here's our button grid. At the end here we have a click to set source function. The button uses two numbers sent to a set source function to call up the information. So the first number is the interviewee 
and the second number is the question number. So here's a set source function. Here you can see how that works, the numbering system. And you can see it operates on a switch case function, which is down here. And so the personal information and the video information comes from this XML sheet. And so the numbering system, the first set is always zero. So this set's zero, this next set is one, and so on. So if the uh, interview number, interviewee number is zero, it'd be the person from the first set. If the interviewee number is one, it'd be from the second set. Now I'll show you the action script to explain the video display. It's just a basic video display with uh, buttons that you click for play, the scrub bar, stop, etc. So you can just click around in the code on the different bits and pieces if you want to see more about the, how it was built. And that should be it. If you have any questions, please email us and check out our other tutorial videos on YouTube.